All right, we are going to talk in this video about planting squash, whether it's uh, summer squash, winter squash, or even pumpkins. Um, I'm going to be planting winter squash here with my corn because I like to use the three sisters method, as it's called, which is an interplanting learned from the uh, American Indians, where they planted corn with pole beans, growing up the corn as a trellis, along with winter squash, which vines out underneath and creates a canopy, shades the soil, keeps the weeds down, and makes a better use of the available space underneath the corn. So uh, what you'll need if you're going to use this method, and the reason I'm using this method, is basically because squash and pumpkins like very loose, rich soil and they like a lot of high organic matter. So we're going to amend the soil to give them what they want. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a round shovel. You're going to need some good well-rotted compost. You're going to need a five gallon bucket like this. And you're going to need some soil amendments for whatever your soil may be deficient in. And I've got a mixture here of, uh, of lime, uh, phosphate, something called azomite, which is trace minerals, green sand. I think I've got some kelp in here too. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, most of what you see here is lime. So that's what makes up this mixture. So um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your bucket by where you're digging. And you're going to take your spot. Um, generally, it's good to plant summer squash uh, about two to three feet apart. Um, if you have more room, use three feet. If you're limited on space like I am in this application, you can use two feet, which is what I'm using for spacing. You're going to basically dig a hole that's about the size of the shovel and put the dirt into, this is your just your garden soil you're digging out, put that into your five gallon bucket. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm making, I'm digging out the area where the roots are going to grow and I want to replace this more um, compacted garden soil with a very loose high organic matter uh, growing medium. So the first thing I do is put a garden soil in there and it takes maybe half a bucket if, uh, if that much. I'm going to put, sprinkle in some of my soil amendments and then I'm going to take a scoop or two, probably two scoops of compost and then I got to mix it. The reason why I do this a bucket at a time and mix it one at a time is because it allows me to make good use of one of my favorite garden tools which I call a garden auger. This is basically a long shaft uh, connected to a power drill which has a about an eight or nine inch long auger screw on the end of it. It's about two inches in diameter. Um, this is intended primarily for digging small holes like for transplanting bulbs or other plants. However, I find it's even better to use it for mixing um, soil amendments into soil like this. So I'll take this and I'll basically um, use it almost like a paint mixer uh, would be used. If you've got a variable speed drill, you once you do it a little bit like that and mix it between layers, you can put it on high. And um, this does a better job of actually mixing the stuff together. Uh, you can hold the shaft to help guide it. Okay, now that I've thoroughly mixed my mixture, Basically, all you do is you take the bucket and you dump it back into the hole. And I may have a little bit of dirt at the bottom where the auger couldn't get to it. But basically, what I have here is a nice big mound of pretty well mixed soil that's got compost in it and other garden, uh, and other amendments in it. And now I have a nice hill to plant on, uh, like is typically done for 
squash and uh, pumpkins and such. So uh, on a one like this, I'll typically plant um, four or five seeds um, kind of in quadrants and maybe one in the middle. And uh, generally, as long as you keep it well watered, you'll get good germination. And the nice thing is, is that the squash roots will go down into this medium and they've got a, basically about a 12 to 16 inch mass here that they can grow in. So they've got a nice loose medium, very high compost uh, organic matter uh, material is exactly what they want. So it works really, really well.